The trail is red hot, and the green scorpions are on the scent of a wanted man, a kingpin of cycad smuggling in the Eastern Cape, where these primitive plants are being poached to extinction. Large cycads can be as old as a thousand years, but they are protected, and although a jackpot for smugglers, the syndicates that trade with them do so illegally. The team are looking for uprooted cycads. Well, they're going to look for anything. Anything they can find. Everything from bottles to um, chains. We'll do everything we can. Everything that we can. Stay down from where you are now. Stay down. Right below you, there are a whole lot of things. There's another one. Two, three, four, five, six. Just this area here alone. But from there we go. Starting there. There's spread edge. You can see a long one. It's taken out. It's going to dry these. This is the incriminating evidence that the green scorpions need. After four years of intense investigation, they are ready to arrest one of the alleged poaching syndicate's key men. It's February 2015, and investigation officer Etienne Kitchen makes the arrest in Jansenville. All right. Robert, you're being arrested now for, for the dealing in the cycads. Contravention of section 62, one of Nature Conservation Ordinance 19 of 1974, and that is now the illegal picking, selling, transporting of cycads from your farm to a cliff. Do you understand those rights? A few weeks earlier, a truck carrying two containers was stopped at a Jansenville police roadblock and searched. The containers were packed with cycads and four people were apprehended. The police found two species, Ancephalatus longifolius, all over three meters tall, as well as the beautiful Ancephalatus lamanii, both species restricted to habitat in Jansenville and the surrounding areas of the Karoo. They're hundreds of years old, if not over a thousand. I mean, these things are massive. They've been growing in the mountains forever. The green scorpions are horrified by the extent of the poaching and the size and the quantity of the plants. But at least the poachers have been caught red-handed. Makes you crazy. It makes you absolutely crazy. Just to see this. The 44 retrieved cycads need to be replanted as soon as possible, if just to save a few of them. But because of the age of the trees and the energy they will need to regrow roots, survival of the plants could be as low as 10%. There's one specific tree here, the, the roots are so bad, the chances of survival of that tree is, I would say, 0.0009%, nothing. This is bad news indeed. It has taken since 2011 for this Green Scorpion team to make this breakthrough. Their first significant arrest also covered by 5050, was late in 2012 in the Transkei, where the Ancephalatus princeps, which grows only in the catchment area of the Great Kai River, are all but a thing of the past. The laborers who uprooted the plants to sell them were arrested and provided evidence needed to apprehend the middleman behind many of the poaching incidents in the province. The arrest took place near Utenhaig in 2013. A subsistence farmer was selling the rare Ancephalatus harudus species to him. The unusual blue-gray spiny and curved back leaves make the species very popular for illegal collectors in Gauteng. Middleman Friki Smal was jailed for seven years. But this did not stop Gauteng syndicates from trying to get their hands on more of these cycads. And in June last year, poachers with 25 of these species were arrested by the Kirkwood police. We've had reports where vehicles had been seen in this area, where there was activities observed on the farms there. As far as I can establish at this stage, these guys are only the couriers and they are responsible for the digging out of these plants. Yes, I think these guys are linked to possibly a syndicate. We've learned from the past that there's definitely a syndicate from Gauteng down in the Eastern Cape taking these plants. But it was earlier this year that the Green Scorpions closed in on one of the top dogs. Confessions from those recently arrested identified the syndicate's kingpin operating in the Jansenville farming district, who is alleged to have had a hand in the theft of hundreds of cycads from nearby farms. At long last, one of the main targets was within reach. A green scorpion search warrant was issued so that the evidence from this farm can be collected to contribute to his conviction. He hands over the gate keys and the detectives and a sandpark's crew move in. 
One of the, the accused has, has, has pointed out some scenes, and he's, in one of the scenes was apparently where the truck had loaded the cycads, but Lucerne has now been thrown over these places where the cycads was apparently loaded, and it's evident there are leaves lying around here. Um, all over this area around the bushes and on the ground you can see little leaves that's dried out already. So this must be the place where the cycads actually was were kept until they were loaded onto the truck. This tractor was used to load the cycads onto the truck. Uh, it was pointed out as well by one of the accused as the tractor, but there was a, a different thing in front here. On the scoop, a plate with three prongs. The poachers may have tried to cover up the loading site, but the investigating team finds all the evidence they need and then move up the mountain to where the cycads had been spotted from a helicopter, amassing proof like this heavy cable as they go. A steep landscape of destruction and felled giants greets them. The teams spread out, processing the scene that had once been prime cycad habitat. While Div de Villiers had seen the sight from the air, the horror of the destruction up close still shocks him. Another one down there. Look at this plant. Jeez. Down the valley, it's, it's some of the granddaddies that have been taken out. Those that are a meter, meter and a half, those still stand. Those are the three, four meters that are down. This is a Mursi, and can you see? He's over four meter long. And he owner oak. So, 20 meter off. You can say there's at least 50 flipping trees. Because you would have been. The evidence keeps accumulating. Besides the 51 uprooted cycads, more heavy cables and other incriminating evidence comes to light. There's a lot of emphasis out there, and rightly so, on the poaching of our rhino, the decimation of the rhino populations. But these are prehistoric plants. They've been around for thousands and thousands of years. I mean, cycads occurred in the, in the era of the dinosaurs. And to see plants that have been standing in the felt for thousands of years being removed like this, just to satisfy the greed of a few individuals is in incredibly heartbreaking. So the nursery that's dealing in these plants illegally can also be prosecuted and will be prosecuted. And likewise, people that have purchased these, call them stolen goods or poached goods, can be prosecuted as well. Now Sand Parks, assisted by experts, work flat out to plant the 44 large confiscated cycads valued at about 4 million rand in the Addo Elephant National Park's Surberg Mountains. Only a few of them are expected to survive. Indeed, a success story for the green scorpions of the Eastern Cape. Now the focus will shift to the apprehension of Gauteng poaching syndicates that have sadly made South Africa the global hotspot for cycad smuggling in the world.